The Regional Growth Planning Office Regional Housing Forum held Thursday was attended by the expected 100 people. Information was provided from those in the know about housing in the area, including area bank presidents, realtors, representatives with the Home Builders Association of Eastern New Mexico, and members of the military, including Wing Commander Colonel Stephen Clark, who said the issue of limited housing is not a base issue, but a community-wide issue. Coupled with a significant shift in base demographics, we're younger, we're more enlisted, in fact, 81% of our folks are enlisted, which means that they're, they can afford smaller single-family homes or more multifamily units. There's not enough affordable housing for purchase or rent to adequately house all of the families coming to Canton. Case in point, two years ago, there was 8.8% availability in the rental market. Today, it's less than 1%. The average new home being uh, built costs approximately $210,000. That's March data, down from about $225,000, so that the trend line is in a good direction as far as we're concerned. And the average homeowner folks can afford, though, after three annual updates to the basic homes for housing, remains between about 120,000 to 180,000 if you're looking in the for purchase market. Proposal there, and that is, housing is not a canon issue, but rather an opportunity for Clovis, for Dallas, and all those metroplex. And it is a community issue, not solely a military issue. If we are not now part of you, in this community, then your entire effort to get Canada off of Brack was for naught. This is a human endeavor, and housing is a community issue, not a basic issue. And the solution has to come from within the community. Thank you for your time, and on behalf of all of your airmen and their families, we're proud to serve this great nation of ours and proud to be part of this community. Thank you. Reporting for Freedom New Mexico, this is Liliana Castillo.